Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa V3. I'm gutted right now. I'm absolutely gutted. Losing Angie was bad enough. But are you serious? I mean, we knew, right? We knew something bad was gonna happen here, but I didn't think it was gonna be this. I honestly didn't think she was gonna die. There's been an accident. Tenko has been killed. They're calling it a murder, but I just don't see how. I really thought it was an accident. But I guess I'm very wrong. We have a lot to do now. Double investigation. Well, it looks like Chapter 3 is holding up in all of the other games. There was a, there were two people dead as well. So it looks like we're following through. I was hoping this wouldn't be the case here. Also, if you hear the weed whacker outside, again, just pretend it's part of the... Part of the scenery. The spooky weed whacker. Because I swear to God, my neighbors wait for me to sit down and start doing stuff. We've got a lot to do, let's just start. Now, Himiko, ugh. I feel bad for her now. Whether or not, um, you know, she gave a shit about Tenko, and honestly, I'm not sure if she did, because it was really hard to tell with her. She's lost Angie and Tenko in, in the span of hours. I just don't know. I wonder what she's gonna have to say about it all. She looks terrible. Oh my goodness, babe. I don't- oh god, what must she be feeling? Maybe you should have been a little nicer to Tenko when- when she was alive? Hey! Himiko! Hey Himiko, be strong! Wait! Gonta, if you shake Himiko that much, she's going to break. But- But she not talking. It like Himiko not even here. Like I thought. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Mm. Oh, okay. It's okay, sweet guy. We'll- we'll figure it out. Sometimes you don't know what you got until it's gone. I, I'm i not saying that to chastise her. I feel really bad for her right now. You know, I wonder if this is going to open her up some more. You know what else really chaps my ass? That Tenko was just starting to accept things a little better. She was really uplifting. She was starting to accept the boys a little bit more. And then, of course, the minute she starts getting a little bit of redemption, there she goes. Isn't that just a dang and romp away? I think I'll stop doing this. Pissing me off is what it is. All right, let's talk to everyone first and then we'll look at everything in the room. Why? First Angie, then Tenko. I know, sweet giant. How can this be? Gonta so ashamed. Why Gonta no could protect friends? I don't, we can't end the situation, darling. It's not your fault. Kibo is doing the Lord's work, shining the light for Leave us it to here. Me. Leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Oh, bless you, darling. Kyo, you've got some explaining to do. That cannot be. Oh, he's he's messed up. Okay, at least he feels bad. Why? Why did this? I told you we shouldn't have messed with this crap. I knew it. Kyo, I know the murder was pretty shocking. But of course. Of course. I'm shocked about that as well, but why did the seance fail? Kyo, is that what you care about more? Come on, buddy. Even your your hotness isn't going to pull you through that. We performed all of the steps flawlessly. Boy, he's real broken up about it. Maybe he just doesn't know how to express himself. To be fair, with the other murders, he was very kind of calm-ish. More calm than most of the others. Uh, yes. He hasn't really had like a freak out during any of the murders prior. So I don't really expect him to have one here. But I'm going to try also not to make excuses for him because I like him so much. Oh, if we perform the cage child again and summon Tenko's spirit this time, stop! We are not doing that. Cut the crap. Tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during it? I see, yes. True, it may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. Is that so? Whatever, hurry up. Maki's not having none of it. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle. So her head touched the marker stone, right? We saw that. Then Shuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. We saw that too. After that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. How did it go wrong? It doesn't even look like there's anything here that could have harmed her. Did someone mess up the circle by, like, accident, step in some of it, and then it just went wrong? Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Right, we saw that. Everyone seemed to be careful. There's Kyo's ultimate thigh gap. 
Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candles. Right, that happened. Yes. Then what happened, though? Finally, we all sang the caged child song. The seance should have been complete, but... Ah, oh, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Yeah, are we not going to bring that up? It wasn't strange. It was loud. At least it was to us. Right, this happened, and then it was like a... That, exactly. So whatever that was is what killed her. But there wasn't any, like... It sounds like a whole wall fell down or something. There wasn't, like, any debris. Oh, I'm sorry for that... Oh, I'm sorry for that lawnmower in the back. I really hope you can't hear that. It is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. If they tripped and, like, messed up the salt circle, would that have fucked it all up? I mean, he said that it would have. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Maybe Kyo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened, Kyo? Yes. I don't want this to be suspicious, but it is. Uh, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. Right. Then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. Right, he still tried to do it correctly, even at this point. First, all four of us removed the dog god statue. I took off the white cloth, and then... Himiko ran over to the cage, and the moment she lifted it... Tenko is dead. What's that then below her? I didn't even notice that before. It looks like the floor opened up somehow. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. I hope we get to see that picture again, because that looks suspicious. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? She was inside the cage. Then? Then when was she killed? Well, that's... Yeah, that's the problem. I see. There yes. is another problem. What is it? How? And that is... Why ever did the seance fail? I cannot figure it out. Probably because your spirit medium got killed in the middle of it. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner? Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance is clearly a sham. Oh, he's not gonna like that. I don't like how he's so bunked about this, but maybe he's trying to do that to figure out how this happened? The thing is, right? Obviously, Kyo is mega suspicious. But is it too- it's too easy to pin it on him, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, I don't know. They, they always do this. They always give you the one that's super, super obvious. But sometimes, at least a lot of the time, the obvious one is not it. Maki never was one to pull her punches. Well, we don't have time to pull punches now. Sound during seance, okay? Oh, Kyo, don't break my heart here, buddy, please. I don't think I can take it. Losing Tenko and you in one chapter would end me. So let's not have that happen. <laughs> this investigation is like over and shut, and it's all thanks to me for giving Kivo his new function. Well, I do have to thank you for that. Now then, Kung Fu's killers, obviously. <laughs> One of you stupid fucking assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. Can you not call her that ever, or I will punch you? Miyu. No. Stop. Uh, no, not necessarily. Huh? Well, seriously? The Sans is, like, clearly set up to lure in and kill her. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? Could it be? Someone could have snuck in. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like, because we saw the floorboards right under her in that one photo that came real quick. Did someone sneak under the floor while we were doing it? If so, then everybody in the room couldn't have done it. So it has to have been people that were outside the room, maybe. I don't know. So you believe that Tenko was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other fucking possibility, shit for brains! F she don't even know that? Shuichi, I gotta be honest, it's right. She was alive, and then she wasn't after the- after the noise. It is true that Tenko was alive before the seance began. Oh, my poor baby. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it'll be Angie speaking through you. Kyo, I really hope that you thought this was going to work and you don't just have a dastardly plan here. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Tenko did what she promised till the end. Tenko answered Kyo, so at that point she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit... The there, there, look. There's a, there's a space under her. That wasn't there before, I'm almost positive. Oh, Tenko, my poor baby. Oh, dear. 
Well, she was on the fast track for a redemption, of course. That means she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. What time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? This may be an important point of the case. I'm gonna go ahead and say the obvious thing is when the noise happened, but maybe that's also too obvious. Who the hell knows? Checkers. You got anything to say about this? Anything insightful? Oh, man. Man. Oh, what a lame function. You should've like made him a transformer. Oh, he's still talking about his boyfriend, Kibo, because he's got the biggest crush, you see. He can't even think about anything else. All right, fine. Uh, Smoogie? I, I said things that made Tenko look suspicious and now this- It's okay, you didn't mean to. She was suspicious. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Huh? Because- Crying won't bring her back. And if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit. For Tenko. And all of us. Can you do it, Samugi? It's alright. I guess. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. That's the spirit, darling. Oh, all right, Maki. Well, do these floorboards seem a little unstable? They're tough to walk on. Kyo did mention that earlier. He said, "Be careful where you walk in here, because the floor was odd." Uh, um. The floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of cross pieces. Oh. Well, in that case, then they would be easy to move or, or break. That's what Gonta told me. That's probably the reason they're a little unstable. Hmm. They've only been laid on top? That's why. Well... Well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they come loose easily. Is this...? But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do it, right? Okay. I think so. I think there's quite a few people here who would be strong enough to do it. Okay. That's gotta be what happened here. Right, okay, let's look at the items first before I get into Tenko's body, because usually I get in trouble. Dog statue. It's the wooden dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the Dog God. I also noticed there's some writing over there, but I don't know if that's just there or not. During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Right? Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly... Kyo said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two girls. Oh, <laughs> rip. I said that's how much I weighed in the last one. Well, you know, it's a work in progress. What? What do you know about girls? Have you even touched a woman besides your mother? Wow! Maki, I'll have you know that I haven't, but I did get tied up by Kyo. Does that count? Uh, He's very um... woman-like. How about that? No? Maki, we'll talk about this I'm later. Kidding. <laughs> that was fucking- Get wrecked, Shuichi! Fucking this burned! This? If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out that easily. No, she- I don't think she would have had any chance of escape. Between that and the cage, uh, okay. it was too heavy. Yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. <laughs> Why is it funny when Shuichi gets burned? He's a sweetheart, and I love him to death. I honestly do. It's funny as fuck, though. <laughs> God, Maki's here with the straight, with the straight savage. I love her. All right, the dog statue. Here we are. The white cloth is the next thing, obviously. It's the white sheet we use for the seance. This was placed on top of the cage. And then, of course, we couldn't see what happened. Kyo was the one who removed it. Right, right, is right. This... this cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back, look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But but no hole in the fabric. It probably just splattered, right? Up. If it's the middle, then it would be towards the top, right? Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through this. Okay. She was stabbed while underneath. It has to be through the floorboards then. Remember, we went through something similar in DR2. So that's a possibility as well. White sheet, okay. That is a possibility. Can we get to this, um... Oh, well, I want to look at the cage, but we should look at this as well. It's the magic circle Kyo drew on the floor. But at least it was. Oh, dear. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well... Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. No, salt is a purification thing. For ridiculous. many, for many things. 
Ridiculous. I've performed many successful seances. I've even had spirits enter my butt. Right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But... In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the village document. That's hey. right. We have a picture. Isn't that right, Kyo? She's real mean when talking to him. I bet you she suspects him 100%. I kind of do as well, and I don't want to. I don't like this. I'm sad, you guys. <sighs> Kyo, you're acting a little bit weird. He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, well. He is. <laughs> A couple of things didn't work out for him, and now he's prime suspect, of course. The magic circle Kyo drew. Okay. How do we get to this over here? There's also a hole in the corner, which I noticed over here. But we want to look at the cage as well. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. What, that place with the wall right there? It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through. But still. Is this... A hole? Looks like there's a space under here, too. Hold on. I can see something below. It looks like something was dropped down there. Something dropped? Got a minute? After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? Okay. Good idea. All right, hopefully I'll remember that. Hole in the corner, okay. I can't tell if there's a hole in the floor or if they mean that wall. We'll have to look at it a little more closely. I want to get to this cage. Maybe I can until I get to Tenko's body. Okay. Is there anything else that we've missed here? The lit candle. Candles hung on the walls are the only source of light in the room. Well, other than Kibo. There are no windows in this room, so without the candles, it was pitch black. But how did the culprit kill Tenko in the darkest? Had to have been under the floor. It absolutely had to have been. I'll check this one just to be sure. It's probably the same. Yeah. Okay. Just, just checking. Just checking. Okay. So, Smoogie, the monitor is probably nothing. We talked to Kibo. We looked at the circle, we talked to everybody here, uh, and we looked at the hole. So let's go ahead and look at Tenko's body. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, Tenko, I'm sorry. Let me undo this mode, because it looks a little bit weird. Okay, so, aha, here's the cage, just like I thought. This is the cage that was used in the seance. There is blood on the top of it, so that matches with the sheet. Is this... It looks to be around three feet high, five feet wide. It's pretty large. Okay. Big enough for a person to fit inside. Right. During the seance, Kokichi and I covered Tenko with the cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey. Hey, look at this. Is this... Blood stain on the bottom. It's probably Tenko's blood, right? Is that the bottom? It looks like the top to me, but never That's mind. That's true. Yes, I imagine so. This spatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? Which means Tenko was killed while she was inside the cage. Okay. Uh, yeah, everything everything matches up to that. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. Oh, my poor dear. She looks like she's sleeping. Not like Rantaro was. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. Then... If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain the bloodstain, right? Huh? Hmm. Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted? How could that have been? That is a possibility. Oh no. Iron cage. But that's so strange. The cage was lifted. I don't get- oh well. There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be... The one she put her head on. Please rest your forehead upon the stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed for a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Like this? Poor Tenko. Tenko had her forehead on this rock hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit in the cage. The marker stone. Okay. Oh, Tenko. I'll check her body last. Here's that floorboard I talked about. This floorboard is loose. It's the one right under her. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? If I remember correctly... It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Why? Why would it come loose during then? But... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Someone must have loosened it on purpose. 
Or someone was under there waiting. Loose floorboard with blood all over it, of course. Okay. Maki, help me out. I don't want to, like, defile Tenko's honor. I don't think she would like a man having hands all over her at this point. Tenko's dead body. She took her last breath, crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is a stab wound to the neck. This wound was fatal. Hmm. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear her scream or anything during the seance. Oh, wait. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Oh, no. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? She was really strong. Really strong-willed. I bet you she would. Oh, babe. Nope. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um... You're speaking from experience? Well, yeah, she must know. That's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. By the way... The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon anywhere. That's the thing. What was she stabbed with? You're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a clue. Tenko's last moments. Oh my god. Poor thing. Hey! Maki, we finished investigating here. Perhaps we should check under the floor? By the way... It seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for light? That's true. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light up here, that should be fine. Okay. I'll go get one. Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. Okay, got it. All right. What are we gonna find down here? I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Be careful, you two. Oh, of course. Look at this. It is a lot like DR2, isn't it? This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move easily on all fours. Oh dear. Okay. Let's look around for clues. Well... I'd look pretty stupid if we found- Oh, it would look pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around this dusty place. Uh, okay. It, yeah. Well, I already see some things. Oh, look at this. This was cut here. Cut cross piece. Oh! Part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard, and the portion missing is about the same width, too. From what I can see of it... That's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. It was cut by someone. Someone planned it. So this was planned. A murder. Someone cut this on purpose so it would be wobbly? There should be saws in the warehouse. They could have used it. But why? Hmm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so... It might not fall if this portion is missing. Then, what purpose did this serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it had been cut. If the culprit did all of this, then why? Oh boy, look at that, and there's blood on it too. Cross piece under the floor, okay. Alright. Dried blood. Wait, dried? How could that be? There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboard. But that's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping down. It's under the same board, just at different ends. Why is there blood here? Hey. Hey. The back of this floorboard has blood on it, too. Oh, you're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of this floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko's blood splatter here when she got killed? But then would it be dried in time? That's true. I wonder. Can't really be sure yet. Okay. But these blood stains here are completely dry. There must be some reason why these particular stains are dry. Strange. Okay. Oh, we got two. The loose floorboard and the dried blood. Blood stain. Alright. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. It's definitely Tenko's. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, look over here. There's a sickle over here. Well, where did this come from? There's a sickle here, and there's blood all over it. Okay. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. It's the murder weapon. Someone would have had to wield that, surely. Is this? This came from my research lab. Oh. Huh? It did? 
Well... A sickle can be used to assassinate a target. Yeah, but you've got to wield that as a person. It's a two-handed thing. It can be thrown without use without losing lethality. Really? A sickle? Maybe I'm just thinking of, like, the farmer types that's two-handed. Maybe this one's different. You can hide it under your clothes. Oh, okay, it's smaller than I thought. Never mind. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The giant sickles that are two-handed? They're, like, taller than a person. This is not one of those. Well... If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about six inches. That's right. And since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But... But even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade could fit through the gaps, but could it reach her? That's true. The cage is three feet high. If you were to stab into it with a six-inch blade... Well, it would depend on Tenko's posture. I don't think it's impossible. It would... It would have to be perfect, though, wouldn't it? Then her posture is the question. Hey. Hey, if the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor in the dark. Or maybe they were down here. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, then it couldn't have been Keo. He was up with us. We heard him singing. Sickle under the floor. Okay. Hopefully that... That absolves him from anything. Cut cross piece. Well, let's just see if I've missed anything. This is still the same cut cross piece. This whole thing. Oh, look at this. The hole that we came in. The dried blood. The blood stain. That and that. Now, I think this is all the same. How about this? Some of the wood is corroded and is broken off. You can see into the next room. Hey. This is the wall of the empty room, right? It looks like there's wood along the wall. This part is rotted away. Hmm. It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. Oh, someone could have gone in through the other room and come down, maybe. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True. But it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. We did all right because we had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. Uh-oh. There's a couple people that could have done that. Namely Kibo. Hmm. But we might have seen the light through the floorboards, huh? Especially if they were loose. It might make it impossible to move around in there. Nope. They could have used the light, like we're doing right now. Well. True. They used the light to move around under the floor? Is that possible? That must have absolved Kyo then, right? Because he was with us. All right, it might have been somebody else. Is that all right? Maki, you want to head back up? <sighs> oh, I'm glad you asked. I was starting to get fed up a little dust. Oh, she doesn't like dust. She's like me. I don't like dusty things. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. Okay. What do we have left? Maki, what are you thinking? By the way, we've only been investigating this room. You sure that's wise? Huh? Maybe we should go look at the other empty rooms just in case, right? What do you mean? Because... If Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the blacken we need to vote for is... You're right. The culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. Then... So, instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Uh, yes, of course. But what if it's the same? It could be. But... So far, the other two double murders, haven't they all have the same culprit as well? But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, I need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Hmm. Well, I understand why you'd feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so let's leave here. So we don't want to go to the other empty rooms just to see? When I came to the hallway... A scene more surprising than I could have imagined unfolded. Another one? Wait, I don't know if I can handle this. What's happened? What the? The fuck? It's a lie. Oh, Kokichi! You little, you little shitbag! What are you doing, <laughs> sir? What is? What have you done? Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? Oh, Christ almighty checkers. Huh? What are you doing? What? Okay. 
He's gone a little bit batshit, all right? We been knew that maybe that was gonna happen. Oh? Oh! Sorry, I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, it's real blood. What happened to you? Why? What are you doing? Hmm. I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Oh, suddenly, did you have an accident, Checkers? <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. You did? Huh? You stepped through it? That's so mean. Oh, that got me good. Because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Oh, Jesus, you were just with us a second ago. Wait a we need to put him on a leash. You know, one of those little kid leashes that looks like a little bear? Backpack? Maki, you're gonna be the one to hold it, right? If you're gonna lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Whoa, sorry, my bad. I guess there was no cross piece supporting the floorboard. I kind of stepped through it. <laughs> Man, what bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... We better go look at that room. Wait. No, 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 no. Huh? Wait. Uh-uh. It can't be Ding Dong Bing Bong yet. There's no way. Oh, hell no. Confidence. Dreams. Wait. That's what the killing game is all about. No, no, I'm not ready. Killing game fans, hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes. What are you talking about? Baseball, soccer, mobile games. They're all nothing compared to the killing game. Uh-huh. The killing game just can't be beat. Really? Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds. What? No, I am not ready, though. We can't now. We haven't even looked at everything. <sighs> Shit, I didn't even get to look at the other room. I guess time's up. Oof. Man, it's because of you guys I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to re-research the sands again, so I brought this with me. Oh my god, he's done something useful. We're gonna need that. But unfortunately... Man... Oh, I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clip. But we wanted to see this image, didn't we? Because the original circle got damaged. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance, what was written in here. He drew the magic circle the same exact way. Not only that, he used the same tools too. Nothing suspicious about it. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll tell you about it later. Yeah, I'm sure. In your back-assed way. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay at the class trial like that, Checkers? I really, I, you know, you're not on my best list, but I don't want you to die. Uh, the class draw. I'll see you there. Oh my goodness me, is he gonna make it? Kokichi left, the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Oh my god, is he gonna be okay? Checkers. Uh, um. Oh, let's go too. Oh boy. That's true. Okay. Is Maki nervous? Well, I sure am. I see. So even she gets nervous sometimes. Do you want to die? What are you staring at? Do you want to die? No? Not really. Well, guys, this is it. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. It's time. It's time. I, I don't know if I should teleport over there. I usually walk because sometimes you might, you might see somebody on the way. Not, not always. The, not even most of the time, but just in case. You never know. So I'm gonna run while I say my goodbyes. Goodbye to you and you and you and you. I went the wrong way. Because I'm busy saying my goodbyes. Um, and in the next one, you know what the drill is. We'll start the trial. We'll go through all the evidence that we have once more. So it's fresh in our mind. And then we'll see what we can do, but honestly, and I know I say this every single time, this one felt very rushed. I don't, I definitely don't have all the pieces together. I'm not happy with how suspicious some people are, but that's just the way of it. We're gonna have to let the trial, like, lead us to the right place. And in the next one, we will do that. So I will see you guys soon. Once I get outside, I'll be saying it. I'll be saying my goodbyes. For real. <laughs> I'll see you at the trial grounds. To live.